Hi, uh, this is a member of the Climate and Culture Committee, and I wanted to cover real quick how you might use the equitable contract to um, get a situation back, um, restore, if you will, um, something that goes sideways in your classroom, hallway, school, campus, etc. Um, so I thought we might use an example to, to uh, go off of, and this example comes from the classic 1988 Stand and Deliver film. Uh, based on Jaime Escalante. Uh, we're going to take a look at this quick scene, only about 20 seconds of it, and see how this might play out using the equity contract. Let's take a look. Okay. You gotta come to this class prepared. So he did come unprepared. Would this merit an equity contract? Well, that would be up to you. But perhaps this next, uh, this next part might... Um, Merit one. Are the times tables? Uh oh. Finger man. I heard about you. Now the movie goes on, um, but we're just going to pretend that it stopped right after that offense. So the student name, his name is student. Uh, student from film. Uh, the student used an inappropriate hand gesture towards the teacher. Who did it affect? Now, this is something to, to talk about with the student when you make this contract with them. Did it affect that student? Um, not terribly. Was the whole class looking? Yes. Quiet as the conversation was, everyone was looking. So that gesture is something that's now part of everyone's um, working memory of the culture of the class. Uh, the group that didn't seem like they were doing group work, the teacher, of course, the teacher uh, took the um, that three directly to his mitt. Uh, and I think that's about it. So how can that student make this right? A one-to-one -one apology, if you think that merits it and would, would fix it, perhaps a class apology. I tend to think a class apology would be better since the whole class witnessed it. It kind of makes sense that, you know, you would want to, get back to a situation where everybody feels like, yeah, they're not going to get the, the middle finger just for disagreeing with this student it, besides the teacher, right? It, it impacts everybody. But there's all sorts of other things too. The student could volunteer to uh, put the textbooks in, in the right numbered order at the end of class. Um, they could do an act of kindness, you know, where he gets a new pair of shades for his friend in the movie or something like that, right? Or maybe an act of kindness towards the teacher uh, or another teacher or something like that during the day. Um, he did brag about his math skills so he could tutor someone. I think maybe later in the movie he even does um, make substantial progress uh, on a back assignment. Um, perhaps there's something that involves a community leader they could do. Maybe they go to Hall as Methodist and, and they volunteer on Sunday as a way to make it right. Or they come out with um, a, a teacher maybe five minutes before the end of the day and, and help kind of uh, tidy up the campus a little bit. All right. For us, it's going to be a class apology. Um, and uh, possibly to tutor a friend who was distracted by it, right? It's, it's hard to imagine this going um, uncommented upon in a middle school. So perhaps tutoring the individuals who got off task a little bit uh, if they're a particularly gifted student. Um, I often think the sooner the better. So like you could highlight today or tomorrow to improve this. All right, and then the teacher signature for student. Right. So the student, let's say you filled this out on another teacher's behalf with the student, like I did it with the student and then it came to you. So maybe I would sign here or you could sign it. Um, was there a follow up? That's something to revisit later on. Yep. This happened on, uh, let's say, 10, uh, 20 and, and we checked this on 10, 21. Um, and there was a signature maybe from the assistant principal or guidance or, or the support teacher or an IST, whoever it was, um, they could sign it as well. So, you know, maybe Mr. Math also stepped in there and, and helped out. So I usually like to put notes on the back of it. Uh, or on this notes part of the file, the student committed to complete unfinished work and teach one fun, inoffensive handshake to the teacher. All right. So that, that could be like a, uh, a, a fun way, like a volunteer task, right? So we could add that to the mix. Fun handshake. 
right? Each situation will be unique enough to merit um, a little thought from, from all involved parties. Um, but this is the sort of thing that, that helps us to, to bounce back from a situation when it, when it goes sideways in a, in a way to make it better. Um, you can always feel free to reach out to the committee for further clarification. Um, and usually you'll receive this and the parent will receive this in an email. So this will go to the student, this will go to the teacher, and this will go to the family um, every single time. I like to take a screenshot of it and then send it via talking points. Um, have a great day.